Hello everyone, welcome to pipebench.com. Before we start designing a new pipeline or replacing an old pipeline, we always get to ask ourselves how to determine the pipe spec. For buried steel line pipe, the process is relatively easy. Many design codes and standards have established allowable limits for designers to check to make sure their line is within the limits. By using this great tool on our website, your stress analysis for your barrier line pipe can be fairly quick. Next, I would like to use a quick example to show you how to use it. As you can see, if you scroll down, the pipe input data section is pretty much the same as many of our other tools. You have two drop downs for you to select the pipe and wall thickness. Everything typical value is already here. And also there's another drop down to select the pipe grade. So for our example, we assume it's going to be a 24 inch line, but has a thinner wall, um, thinner than the standard, standard wall thickness. So the way to do this, like all other tools, let's go to custom. And then you have two more cells below it to, for you to manually uh, put it in the, the pipe spec. So let's say we want to check um, the 24 inch pipeline with a quarter inch wall thickness and the grade is grade B. We want to make sure that this, this pipe, we want to check if this pipe is going to work under the maximum operating conditions. And as you can see here, once you select the grade B, it's already uh, a pop up uh, 35,000 PSI SMICE uh, for your pipe. Uh, for the internal design pressure, let's say we have 1480 PSI, uh, typical pressure rating for a 600 pound uh, flange uh, is used for many design pressure for high pressure system. And for ins installation temperature, let's say we don't know for sure we want to use some very conservative um, uh, design criteria. Let's say we use 35 Fahrenheit as the installation temperature and we keep it 120. It doesn't need to be realistic. This is just to show you a very ex extreme case. And then once we finish all the temperature input, we, we, we can put some typical soil input data. Let's say uh, we don't know what type of soil we're dealing with. We use 120 pounds per uh, uh, cubic feet as a typical value. And the buried depth, let's say this line pipe is buried at four foot, right? And uh, the module of soil reaction, again, is it varies from location to location. Uh, if unknown, let's assume 500 PSI as a typical value. Okay, great. So we put in everything we want to try first and we scroll down, we can have the calculation of stresses. As you can see, we have uh, a few different stresses we're checking and we have the values. We have uh, this column in terms of percentage of SMICE and this will compare with allowable. So here we have some default uh, allowable values. This is based on uh, ASME 31.4 for liquid pipeline. Uh, however, you should check your pipeline type and your design codes. Make sure this allowable is reflect to the applicable codes and standards you use. So for example, in this case, uh, let's say this is actually a, a, a natural gas transmission line and is in a very uh, class four locations. So the allowable is much lower than 72, per, uh, 72 here. Um, this is actually gonna be 50% of SMICE. So like I said, you, there's a, many other things you should consider like the, the join factor, the temperature factor, the location factor. So everything is gonna, is gonna change the um, allowable in terms of a percentage of SMICE. Same thing for your thermal expansion stress, let's say we keep it 90%. Uh, total longitudinal stress, keep it 90%. Um, and for combined stress per, so there are two types of combined stress uh, equations. They're both acceptable uh, by the codes. And one is called maximum shear stress theory, and that is uh, von Smyces theory. So this two theory, like I said, depends on your application can have 
um, very different um, allowable limit. So in, in this case, let's say we keep it 90% of everything. And the last is the pipe ovality. Uh, usually you won't see this in the code and standards and mandatory requirements, but we do recommend everyone to check the, the, the pipe ovality um, for battery pipeline. Uh, sometimes if you see pipe buried very, very deep, uh, you might have the pipe um, buckled uh, because of that. Usually uh, typical limit is a 3%, but uh, sometimes you can go a little bit less conservative. 5% is also commonly used. Um, so in this case, let's keep it 3, 3%. Okay, great. Now we have all the allowables set. As we can see, there is three failed criteria. Once from the hoop stress, we're actually getting uh, almost 203% SMICE, but we need to make it end the 50. And also we failing uh, combined stress uh, for both um, theories. Uh, but we're good for thermal, we're good for total longitudinal stress, we're good for uh, pipe ovality. So we have to go back to the pipe spec and we need to either make a, a thicker wall or a higher grade or both to make sure we pass the design criteria. So in this case, let's say we want to change, we want to increase the wall thickness. Now we know 0.25 inches wall thickness might not be working. So we select it back to 24. Um, we're going to say standard wall thickness. Uh, we can see here is uh, standard wall thickness. 0.375 inches. Um, we let's see what do we got here. So okay, it's a little bit better. Um, the percentage of smiles for uh, all these three failing criteria uh, dropped, but still way over the limits. So um, then we have two ways to go. Either we make a thicker wall, where we change the pipe grade. So once we pass a standard wall thickness. Uh, I, I personally like to um, select the thicker wall if we can, if we don't have welding issues. Uh, let's say in this case we go for uh, X70. So as you can see, we select seven, X70 and 70,000 PSI SMICE. Everything else is the same. And I'm going to scroll down. Okay, great. We have two combined stress uh, pass but we still have hoop stress over the limit. So if we stick with all the design criteria, the only thing we can do is go higher grade or thicker walls, but because we already select uh, grade 70, uh, typically this is kind of like the cutoff for, for higher grade. When, when Once you go to X80, sometimes it's hard to find um, uh, qualified welders for very high uh, pipe grade. So let's keep X70 and, and play around with the wall thickness. So standard wall thickness doesn't work. Let's use a heavier wall. Then we select heavier wall. Wall thickness is changed to half inch. And we scroll down. Okay. 50.7. Little bit higher. Still fail. So in this case, we can go even higher. Let's say go to schedule 160. Uh, maybe that's too, too, too high. Let's go to 80. All right. So um, schedule, maybe schedule 40. Yeah, schedule 40, um, 0.688 inches. Um, and then let's take a look. Here we go. So we have, we successfully make a pipe sized for this very conservative case. And of course, uh, you can, you should, uh, you should check your actual, uh, project to make sure, uh, all the uh, design criteria is make sense. So, um, after this, I would like to, to introduce two more features for this great tool. One is um, if you want to reset your allowable values for default, which is based on ASME 31.4, you can just click the box and everything should be back to uh, the original default values. 
And if you want to change it further, you can unclick it and manually change it to, let's say 100 uh, for combine or 80 for hoop. It depends on, like I said, depends on which uh, standard you follow. And then after everything, you can, like many other, our other tools, we can generate a PDF a report. You can put in the project name, days, revision, developer. So in this case, we can just uh, skip all that. Um, then we can generate a nice PDF report with all your inputs, uh, with all your uh, uh, your stresses check, and um, also your um, project info. So one last thing, um, again, like many other tools we have, we do offer metric uh, system for people working outside the US. Uh, is a great function for you to input everything in metric units. Uh, for pipe, drop down everything and still keep it as uh, inches because this is a, a more a common practice in the whole world. But if for the pipe grade, let's say we can follow the CSA grade, which in terms of MPA and uh, design pressures in KPA, uh, temperatures in at degree C, uh, basically everything will be converted to metric units. And if you go to the report again, um, in the report, everything will convert to metric units. Great, so that's everything about this tool. Uh, hope everyone enjoy our tools offered and our website. If you have any comments or suggestions, please contact us. Uh, we're more than happy to hear from our users about your experience and how you feel, maybe things we can improve. Uh, so anyway, please give us a shout and uh, see you next time.